Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your September 2022 general readings. We're looking at the first half of September, so from the 1st through the 15th. And this reading is for the air sign of Aquarius. Welcome everyone. Thanks for being here. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this or any of the videos on my YouTube channel. Hitting that like, share, subscribe button. Those of you who reach out for personal readings. A note of gratitude to you. Thank you. Okay, Aquarius. This is for you if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is an Aquarius. Uh, if you're cross-watching for an Aquarian, it's also relevant. It's a general reading, so as many of you know, it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. I mean, how could it not, right? Uh, although the fundamental energy remains the same. So if you know your other signs, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, uh, watch them all for additional insight or perspective. And if you find that something does, uh, you know, really resonate with you, you really relate to it, you'd like to take a deeper look, perhaps reach out for a personal reading uh, for yourself or as a gift for someone else, feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can also get that contact info by clicking the description link with this video. I'd be uh, delighted to hear from you. I can usually respond the same day with more information. I do offer quite a wide variety of readings and uh, in all areas of life. And I'm pretty diligent about scheduling too. I do readings full time, it's all that I do. So I work pretty hard at getting people in as quickly as possible. So if you're interested, uh, email me. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what the first half of September looks like for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with one of the Gilded Tarots. We begin with knowing the priestess or high priestess. This represents a sense of intuition. Your intuition is your, some people call it higher self, some people call it gut instinct. It's your the connection to the divine, that which gives you the ability to kind of see a truth or feel particularly pulled in one way or another, you know, paying attention to repeating dreams or repeating synchronicities. It's a sense of having a, a, a deep, almost psychic or spiritual sense of, of knowing something with the two of wands of knowing up which path to take it looks like it, this is about a choice as many of the readings are as life is right it's all about choices a path of action the two of wands is a two of fire so it's likely that whatever choice is in front of you uh, it's about taking action in some way well every choice is about taking action in some way but this requires actual action. Yeah, there's a sense here that you guys know. I, now, <clears throat> you know, I always read the cards first as what's coming in for you or for whatever particular sign I'm reading for. But you can, particularly in a general reading, reverse this. It might be the other person. But there's an intuition here about knowing which decision is inherently the one spirit would like you to take. Free will, free agency, right? Next, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing and orchestration. God, spirit, angels, and guides either orchestrating something or allowing something to happen for the greater good or for your greater good with judgment another choice card major life crossroads there's a decision to be made here sometimes judgment is called the second chance card which implies that if this choice came before you you may want to think about doing something different this time judgment also has an air of finality meaning that whatever you choose to do or choose not to do that's probably the path you're going to stick to for quite a long time if not like the rest of your life uh, meaning if you choose to stay in whatever the situation or ideology or space you're in, that's just pretty much where you're going to be. Um, if you make a choice to go in a different direction, then it will probably change your life path. And, you know, of course, you can't come back from those either. And it, it looks quite strong here, Aquarius, that spirit is literally providing you with the opportunity to make a choice that's going to change your life one way or another. Typically, that means if you decide not to take action and you've been, you know, given this opportunity before, you will likely lose something. Could be a person, place, situation. Or things will continue. 
I'm getting that quite strongly for some some somebody here that this whatever this opportunity is it's an opportunity you had before you didn't make the decision spirit thought was best for you to make but this is it here and you know this you have an unknowing whether or not you pay attention to the intuition of course again this might be somebody close to you but if it is it's significant it's somebody you have some kind of relation to with because it's significant i think for many of you it's you eight of swords but i can't i'm trapped i can't because of this or i can't because of that or i can't because i'm bound to this that or the other thing this thing is in the way i'm telling myself i can't make a change i can't move forward because i don't know all the different reasons and excuses we tell ourselves right eight of swords is with the queen of swords aquarius gemini libra yeah <laughs> probably some kind of uh, typically the eight of swords is fear driven you know i can't leave this crappy job because it's the best one i can get i can't leave this unhealthy relationship because i'll be alone for the rest of my life i mean you know that whatever we tell ourselves because we're afraid of change we're afraid of the consequences of change especially if if it would be us initiating that change so we give ourselves all kinds of reasons some valid some not of why we can't do it that's kind of what you're doing here in spite of the fact that spirit looks like they're strongly giving you an opportunity to do something different so i mean forewarned is forearmed that's why we do these readings heads up right from the bottom of the deck the overall energy and focus is the emperor maybe that you're being called by spirit to step into the emperor's shoes meaning that it's time to be the emperor to take charge to make the best decision the honorable ethical moral right thing to do for anyone and everyone involved including yourself um, some of you may have aries i'm getting somewhere in your natal chart or something or aries may be one of your signs uh, but I'm getting that you know what to do, but there's something holding you back here. And I'm getting it quite strongly. It's quite clear. But let's let's break it down a little bit. Clarify the emperor, because I really feel like this emperor is your in well, what you're being asked to be. For some of you, it might be a, a person that's significant in this situation. For those of you for whom that resonates, it is likely a male, even though this is a general, because the emperor almost always is. Not always, but almost always. Or an Aries, or an older person, or father, or father figure. But I feel like you're being asked to step up here. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, again. The Knight of Wands. Knights represent opportunities. Uh opportunities for change offers and opportunities for change the knight of wands is the knight of fire the knight of action he goes after what he wants uh quite aggressively quite assertively and quite fast spirit is giving you a chance to act and act quickly because i feel like if you don't do the thing that you know to do you're gonna again i keep getting you're gonna lose something i don't know what that something is it's a general reading it's gonna mean different things but it's a spirit quite clearly a spirit driven opportunity here to make a decision to move forward rather than staying stuck in whatever energy you've been in clarify the priestess the high priestess the ten of cups might be about home family marriage children five of swords sorry yeah yep that's the five of swords and the six of wands so this is winning at all costs or winners and losers and this is a significant victory you know what you need to do to you know what you need to do these are both the specific victory cards of the tarot you know what you need to do to have this there's a choice a, 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 a choice to act move forward in a particular way and not do depending on the situation not do what you've always done before i hope it doesn't come off as sounding too patronizing or you know parental but it's really kind of the feeling a little bit of the feeling i'm getting clarify the two of wands the two of wands is clarified by the two of wands spirit is really saying it is time to act you, you need to make a decision because 
And typically when this happens, if you don't make the choice or you decide not to do anything different or you stay stuck in whatever energy or act path you've been on, spirit will make the decision for you. And that typically can be kind of challenging or even painful. The fool, you're being asked to take a leap of faith, to maybe do something you've never done before, to trust, to take a risk. Let's clarify the wheel, wheel of fortune. Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands. So there's another individual here. It might be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Communication here. But spirit-driven communication about a new beginning of some kind. The Magician. It's time to take action. This person is telling you something. Um, there, It feels like somebody... I, I mean, this could be any kind of situation. It could be a, a romantic relationship, a friendship, uh, something at work or within family. I mean, it's going to vary because this is a general reading, but somebody is telling you basically to fish or cut bait. Somebody is drawing a line in the sand and saying, okay, this is your last chance to, to do the thing, <laughs> to move forward, right? Because if you don't, that's it. Too many. Judgment. Clarify judgment. Opportunity for a... Last chance choice, significant life changing choice. Queen of Swords, we got the Queen of Swords twice, definitely for you. Ace of Coins, again, new beginnings, practical new beginnings and inspirational new beginnings. The Tower and Justice. I, again, I think this is somebody's telling you, it's kind of like they're drawing a line in the sand, but it's behind it is spirit going, is supporting what they're saying. This is like, look, do the right thing to move forward and start this thing or start this new phase of something or the tower. That's what I'm getting. For some of you, it may be in your work career life because it's ace of coins, although I'm not picking it up too strongly. It might be. Because Ace of Coins and Justice could represent legal issues around work, money, finance, inheritance, starting a new something or other. But again, the energy fundamentally remains the same. Somebody saying, look, this thing needs to move forward. You need to make a decision and do these kinds of things for this to move forward. Or this opportunity, this chance is going to move away, is going to disappear. Because it's a general reading and it, it you know... It's not coming through entirely clearly in one direction. This could be in any area of life, relationship or work or some kind of project. Let's see what's holding you back here with the Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords. And I think you also might be overthinking something or comparing something to something in the past that didn't work out and that's making you feel like you can't move forward. Something that's tying you down that is you, you're using as an excuse not to move forward. Eight of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Swords and the Five of Coins. You may be too afraid. It feels like you're afraid to invest in something because you think you're going to lose. Now, the nature of that investment, this is a generating, so it could be, it could be you've invested in a relationship before and it left you feeling like this. Abandoned, rejected, not good enough. Having to beg for everything that you needed or wanted. If um, you're being asked to invest or start something that's financial in any way or work related in any way again you may be telling yourself you can't because it didn't happen it didn't work out in the past and you were left broke or you lost a bunch of money or you know I mean it could be a combination of all of those things it could be you're saying I don't I don't have anything to offer or I don't have the enough to offer again what I'm getting here is that respectfully this is not a valid reason or excuse because it's based on something that doesn't have relevance in this situation. This is a new situation. This is not a past situation. I mean, like, if you're saying, I don't want to, you know, move forward with this relationship to a different level of commitment, even though I really like this person, because it didn't work out for me in the past, um, that's not relevant. What happened in the past happened in a different relationship with another person. It's not relevant here now. You're being asked to let go of it and to take a chance. 
again, this doesn't need to be love and romance. It can be work or some kind of money thing as well. And it could be money issue. If it's a relationship, there also might be fears of money stuff and as well. Like, you know, like I had to give up half of what I had in the past. I don't want to do that again, you know. I'm not saying that the concerns and fears aren't valid, but using them as an excuse not to move forward into some place of, of happiness that has the potential to work out really nicely for you. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. What's going on with the Queen of Swords? The Moon, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody feels they might be stabbed in the back or have to surrender to yet another devastating or painful ending. There's so many unknowns and fears here. But, you know, I think you, again, you're overthinking it. You're, you're like taking something that happened in the past and superimposing it on this this situation and this situation is not that situation that happened to you in the past this is a different situation a different person and i think you're putting too much into past pain here and it's going to keep you from growing number one and number two i feel like it's going to cost you quite a bit here in ways that you you may not be really thinking about right now because your fear of what might happen bad is the voice that you're listening to. Interesting reading. I mean, I get it. Once burned, twice shy, right? But spirit is definitely, definitely I sound like the Rain Man in that movie, right? Definitely, definitely. Uh, but spirit is, I mean, it's it's quite clear here that Spirit is encouraging you to take a, a leap of faith, basically, here. So let's end with any advice or guidance. The hanging man in reverse. <laughs> uh, in the upright, it's no action. It's, it would be Spirit saying, things are still playing out. Don't take action yet. But this is the first advice card. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. Well, I am. But, you know, it's not malicious. <laughs> Spirit is saying, get off your butt and act. You've, you know, dilly dallied, wishy washed long enough, waited to see how things are going to turn out before you make a decision. All this time has passed, you still haven't made a decision. The Spirit is saying, do it. The chariot, go for it. Faith and strength. This is what it's going to take. This is what Spirit is asking of you. Have faith. Have strength. Face your fears, your doubts, your insecurities. Three of Wands and Nine of Cups. And have faith that it's going to work out. You're going to have what you want. Wish fulfillment. Again, free will, free agency, right? You can completely ignore the advice. Well, we've already gone over that. I'm not going to repeat it. Food for thought. Aquarius, those are your messages for the first half of September. I hope you found them useful, or again, at least gave you something to chew on or something to contemplate. Uh, if this, if you really relate to this, if this really makes sense to you, if it resonates to you and you'd like to uh, take a deeper look at something, peel back the layers a bit, reach out for a personal reading for yourself, or as a gift for someone else, personal readings do make great gifts for people. Um, feel free to email me maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com you can click on the description link with this video to get that same information i will see you all in a couple of weeks for the september mid-month readings till then stay well and i hope to see you back here again soon Bye bye